Hey everyone, so uh, in a previous video I talked about uh, uh, 8.7 closing out uh, Clause 8 of ISO 9001-2015 and that talked about non-conforming outputs. Um, before I jump into the next Clause, Clause 9, I want to talk a little bit more about that because in a video I did over a month ago, I talked about uh, root cause and uh, ensuring that corrective preventive actions are um, developed around the real problem. So 8.7 talked about developing corrective preventive actions against a non-conforming output. Um, but if you don't do a good uh, review uh, to really find the, the problem, uh, those corrective actions, preventive actions are not going to fix the issue and you're going to have issues creeping up again. So if you are in charge of that function that the non-conforming output occurred in, um, you, know, you may have a team to uh, discuss it with and uh, you know get that shovel out and uh, do some digging to get to the uh, root cause because, heck, I just saw one today from a company <coughs> and their root cause using the 5Y method was 1Y. And we didn't follow the process. Okay, well, heck, the second why is why didn't you, right? So <clears throat> it was funny because their corrective action was to create a process. Well, okay, so if you had a process and didn't follow it, why are you creating something new? So when I see those, those are examples that just tells me that they didn't really look at it the right way. And oftentimes, you know, everyone's in a hurry, depending on what you do as a business, you have a lot going on. And oftentimes the folks are like, I don't have time for this. Let me just throw something together. Right. But you're going to be doing this again when it happens. That's a waste of resources. That's the opposite of quality. We don't want waste. Right. We shouldn't as a business. It's a waste of time, money and, and just resources in general. Right. We have other things to do. So. You know, take it seriously, look at the actual non-conformance, and just dig into it. Go walk through the workplace, walk through your processes. That's why it's important to have documents, because if you don't, those things will come up. You know, oftentimes I've seen uh, employees get written up for not following a process that doesn't even exist, right? So you have to have something to help the employees, help you as a business uh, be successful for your customer and client. Right. So I just wanted to bring that up to everyone.